Hello there and welcome, it's Inktober Day 26 and this one was certainly something. I started by lighting my candle, which I just find super relaxing. Today's prompt is ego. Now, I feel like the concept was really quite cool for this one, but the execution just wasn't great. I mean, it's not like awful, you know, there's, there's still aspects of it that I like and I do think the idea, the concept was pretty cool. The biggest problem I had is I don't draw men. I have done a couple of faces, especially for the 100 heads, but bodies, I have never done a man's body. And the idea that I had for Ego, the first thing that popped to mind was like a Greek god. And I tried to sketch stuff, like I was just moving down. I didn't do any grid lines or like um, kind of sketch lines. And I didn't do any pencil, so I just went straight in with pen and I did a few sketches and I was like, oh yeah, this ain't, this ain't great. And I did a couple of sketches and obviously the Greek god has like a load of muscles and six packs and I'm used to drawing women and the women that I usually draw are just like a lot easier to be honest and trying to draw like a six pack and trying to get everything kind of accurate it was really difficult it's something i don't have practice with and i really just don't draw men i don't know what it is i think it's quite a common thing in the art community that i've seen though that a lot of people just prefer to draw women and i'm definitely one of them i don't know exactly what it is but the body was really difficult honestly i think it would have been a lot easier to just do a woman's body because it's Especially like a Greek god's body, it's almost unrealistic and you know, the level of muscles and everything, I just do not have practice with that. I don't know where the muscles are supposed to be, I don't draw like that and I certainly don't draw men. So it was a really quite difficult one, it was definitely a challenge. So the idea that I had was to draw a Greek god because that's kind of what I thought of when Ego came to mind and I thought that might be really quite cool in ink, it's something I've never done. I want to try out lots of different stuff for Inktober and for art challenges like the 100 heads like I I want to try out lots of different well obviously I can't do mediums for Inktober but I want to try out lots of different styles and for the 100 heads I did lots of different mediums and you know for art challenges I think it's the best way to really explore and try new things try things that you don't normally do so that's kind of why I wanted to for this one. So I went in and did the line work with my dip pen and I tried to avoid my hand going into it and I was, it was kind of like, I was okay, I didn't really smudge much. Then the idea I had was, it was kind of loosely based on Zeus, but the god in itself just kind of is a generic kind of god, but then I liked the idea of having like lightning behind and it kind of being like Zeus but I don't know how accurate the actual god is to him because the photo that I was kind of using as reference I kind of merged a few together and there is it's sort of loosely based on Zeus but I did a couple of my own sort of spins on it the hand I did really struggle with because I wanted to change it up and the one of the references I saw I think it was Poseidon and obviously like I couldn't have him holding a trident because that's not really what I was going for. So I did have to change the hand a bit and I actually used my own hand as a reference to kind of do like a weird sort of different pose, like it's sort of pointing or something. And that didn't really work. But I'd already done the entire body by the point I got to the hand and I couldn't fit the hand on the page. So it wasn't like a massive issue anyway. I've really had that problem. Like as Inktober's gone on, I've really struggled with trying to keep my kind of drawing like as the size it's meant to be you know so i started off with quite a light wash of ink and then i tried the cling film mess method and made a bit of a mess and then i decided no i want it to be pure opaque black which i don't want to do too often because i feel like when i flip through the sketchbook some of the pages pop a lot more if you don't have them all have a black background like i found if i have like three pages that have a black background they don't stand out as much when you're flicking through they don't look as contrasting as i would kind of like however you know the last piece did have a black background but i felt like this one just really needed it i did try it with gray to start off with and as i said i tried cling film but 
The issue that I've been having with cling film that I definitely had for the kind one as well is you kind of pop it down and then it sort of smudges the ink everywhere. So if you have like direct lines, it, it can just like go all over them. So that's why I didn't do cling film. I also felt like the ink was drying really fast and the cling film didn't really seem to be doing much. So um, ideally I would have put masking fluid down for this bit, but I haven't replaced my masking fluid that's gone off. So for this one, I just tried to avoid the line. So I used a synthetic smaller brush and I think this really kind of worked to be honest. Like it did work a lot better. It was a lot easier to control, but the brush really dried up fast. Like because it's not a natural brush, it really did dry up fast. So I had to top it up a lot, but I had a lot more control. It didn't splash anywhere and it was definitely the right move for this one. So I didn't really have a lot of plans for the actual body of the Greek god. I'm not happy with the sketch, I'm not gonna lie. I, It's one of those where I kind of sketched the head and then I wasn't happy with it, but I didn't really know how to change it. So I sketched the head and I really wasn't happy with the nose and I just didn't really know how to fix it and I think the more I do, like when I got to the point at the 100 heads that I'd done so many that I could kind of put my own spin on things and sort of know how to fix it a little bit. I didn't really have that, especially with um, men and this kind of angle. I just, I haven't done enough to know exactly like what to do to fix it. So I wasn't really impressed with the sketch. Um, I, I'm not like ecstatic with this one as I say, I think the body is somewhat okay, I think it's the head that I'm not happy with, but the body in general, that's a completely new thing for me and I'm kind of happy with how it went. So I used a light wash of ink for the body and for the hair and the beard I decided to keep that light so I just did a small amount of ink but I did it more like kind of highlights like painting in the strands I guess so that I left the white there I wanted to I wanted it to pop a little bit on the background and I can have it like blend in with either the background or the body so it kind of had to stay white so then I just popped in the prompt name and this is how this one's turned out. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've got any of my Inktobers, that is fantastic. And I would love if you could subscribe so that you can see tomorrow's, which is day 27. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.